All right, please come on in and we're going to take a seat. I need you all to please start with our do now and it's which numbers or patterns. I want you to tell me in just a second. I'm going to ask everybody here what numbers out of these numbers show a pattern. So just think, is it one a pattern, yes or no? Two a pattern, yes or no? Three a pattern. We're going to have about 60 seconds to do that. So please figure out what your answers are going to be. Think hard because we're going to talk about it in just a second. Okay, with this on our mind and thinking about what this says, take a look at this. I want you to answer this question. Who could tell me what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Marcel, what are we doing today? Perfect. We will be inspired by Edward Degas. It's a hard name. The S is kind of hidden in there. Okay, we want to say Edward Degas. And then we're making Pipeline Dancing People today. Okay, so we know about patterns. We know about people. But what do we need to remember? Something we're going to want to really remember is a pattern always repeats. Un patrón se repite. Okay, what that means is that when we look at this, what do we know? Who can raise their hand and tell me? Who can raise their hand and tell me? Is number one, two, or three a pattern? Gabby, could you give us an answer to all three? Let's see if we can challenge you and give you all three. Is number one a pattern? Yes. Why? Because um, because the pattern repeats, because it shows line, lady, line, lady, line, lady. That was a pretty good answer, so I want to know this. Who agrees, who disagrees? If you agree, let me see some of this. If you agree or disagree, we're going like this. Okay, Haley, if you agree, can you tell me is two and three, are these patterns, yes or no? I don't think they're patterns because they, um, they don't repeat. Because they don't repeat, excellent. Does anybody agree or disagree? Do we have any, any disagreements, any disagreements? You do, you agree? Yes, I agree. You agree, you agree as well? Excellent, excellent. So we could definitely agree there, but just so we know, just so we know, these are actually patterns also. A lot of people think about patterns and they think about these things that we have right here because we're looking about our elements and principles of design. But if we remember a pattern repeats, notice this one kind of shifts and goes up and down. It just really has to repeat. Our biggest goal is that a pattern will repeat. So when you're creating your note cards that are gonna be the base of what you're making today, you're gonna to need to know how to make a pipe cleaner person. Now the easiest way to make a pipe cleaner dancing person is gonna to be to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to do our first step right here, flatten it out, and then we're going to twist the top. And when you twist that top, it's going to make the beginning of the head. Then you'll take the two parts that come out, you're going to flip them and curl them around. And that's what I got going on right here. Boom. It becomes the arms. And then you do the last part, which is going to be the bottom flip, where you bring these two up, and you make legs. Now that's going to give you the form of the person. But I'd like to know who could stand up a model right now. What's a dance move, frozen dance move that you could show? Who's got a frozen dance move? You got one? You have a good one? Um, maybe like leaning like this one or... Like Come on up here. Come on up here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's a good one. So she'd have her arms crossed. Her character would be like this. How about if you did one like this? Could you do one like this? Like maybe, hey. Or maybe you're going like this. Hey. Did that give anybody a feeling? What would you do? Who could raise your hand? What would you do? I tell you got something? Yeah, will you please take a seat for me? Come on up, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. I know you don't want to come. I know you don't want to come. Come on up, let's see. You could do it, I believe. What would the dance move be? Don't know. What's the dance move that you know and you could like just freeze in a move? Maybe I've seen some people do like this one. I don't know how they do it exactly, but it's similar to that. What would you want to be? I don't want to do anything. Okay, let's say music. Do, 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 do. So what I was going to do was just do rotation. Okay, let's see what would it look like. So like when they're doing like this, this step, do we like it to get ready? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Where would you stop with you? Oh, stop right there. Okay, are your feet flat? Is there a toe up? Is has your knee bent? How, is there anything else? Is that just like this? Just like that, okay, okay, that could work. Now, thinking about the foundation, we're gonna be putting these pipe cleaning people on note cards that are similar to this. 
which pattern would you want to use? You don't have to use these, but you, these are just some ideas you may want to use. Which one would you want to use, but why? That's the hard part. Gabby, do you know? You got your hand up already. Okay, so let's say you couldn't do any one of these. Let's say I gave you a blank note card, and I went and I said, here, I want you to, I want you to fill in something just like this. And now I've erased everything, and you are gonna have to show me your own pattern. What is the one thing that you need to remember when you create your pattern? Um, it has to be repetitive. It has to be repetitive. Awesome, is that what you were thinking? Yeah, I was gonna say that's awesome, that's awesome. Okay, so in just a moment, I'd like you to please come grab your materials from the back of the room and we'll be good to go. All right, thank you.